Hey guys, let's try a Rugo 500. I'm pretty sure it's a 500 anyway. I don't think I have an, a key here though. Anyway, let's just try. And see if it wants to open for us. Oh, the other way. I have taken off the uh, clip and the back pieces because then I can have it in the vise. And because we took this off, we can also go both clockwise and counterclockwise. I just want to see how it is acting first. Hmm. What about counterclockwise? Actually, let's just quickly try. Okay. Yeah, it's not always happy. But it's still getting close. There we go. Not much picking, but we did get it with the Kronos. <laughs> Good, because I needed one of these. Let's got it. Then I can repin it off camera. So I can get it in use. Okay, where is the followers? So far, so good. Extended in five, as usual, on the Zeruko 500, spring, and, well, that's a small gin bottle, teeny tiny gin bottle, and a spring. If it will let me get it out. These sparrow trees are really, really not good for springs. Alright, pin for one now. Should also the rest should actually be gin bottles, so yeah. Just a tiny bit bigger, but yeah, same pin. the other tweezers so we can get these out today and where did it go I have extras but it can't just disappear can it oh, it's here somewhere
another gin bottle and a spring and the last one also a tiny gin bottle so now I just need that spring that ended somewhere on the table Yeah, anyway. So there you go. Tapered pins. You can see they are tapered on the top there. Makes it easier to overset. And on top we have gin bottles. And they will get cut in the sleeve. You see here there is a sleeve on the core which goes in under there, Whoop. except for the last hole. But the first four, they will get cut. And it goes both ways. So yeah, now I just need to repin it and try to find that spring that... Oh, it's right here. Uh -huh. Now I just need to repin. <laughs> then I can get this in use. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.